hello good morning everyone um, thank you for joining my presentation on uh, exploring trans impedance amplifier topologies uh, where uh, design consideration and trade offs are considered uh, i am lava kumar uh, i work as analog designer in fraunhofer institute for integrated circuits ias ees in germany and uh, uh, this paper is co-authored along with andy heinig Uh, here is a brief outline of what I will cover in uh, today's uh, presentation. I will start with the motivation behind this research, followed by an introduction. Also, I will discuss the importance of trans impedance amplifiers and uh, review various uh, TIA topologies and then uh, delve into specific topologies such as common based, common emitter uh, with uh, resistive feedback and a regulated CAS code and uh, Darlington pair with resistive feedback. Then we will move on to the discussion, concluding uh, with the, with the conclu uh, conclusions, and then uh, finally you, the floor is open for some questions. Uh, coming to the motivation, the motivation behind this design, uh, research uh, seems uh, from the critical role of uh, optical fiber communication technologies. Uh, so basically, in high high speed data transfer uh, communication networks, uh, as as shown in the figure, uh, the the dramatical uh, the the, uh, the product of bit rate and uh, signal uh, repeating distance, known as the BL product, uh, has increased dramatically from a factor of uh, ten to the power eighteen. Uh, by, a, by a factor of 10 to the power of 18 as uh, new technologies have emerged. Notably, the introduction of fiber, op fiber optics uh, around 1980 marked a significant change in this trend. Optical fiber cables are not only lighter and thinner uh, than traditional electrical wiring, but also offer higher bandwidth, lower loss and resistance to electromagnetic interference and uh, crosstalk. With, with an attenuation of less than 0.2 dB per kilometer at the emission wavelength of 1550 nanometer, these fibers enabled data transmission at terabits per second speed over thousands of kilometers, making them uh, in, indispensable in modern communication system. High speed and re, uh, reliable data communication is very crucial in modern technologies. In all these systems, the performance of optical communication devices is very largely depend on uh, the efficiency of trans impedance amplifiers. By optimizing TAA design, uh, we can achieve significant improvements in bandwidth, noise performance, and overall efficiency, thereby enhancing the capabilities of these communication systems. Coming to the introduction of uh, uh, TAA, before proceeding, I will discuss a major rollbacks for uh, the trans impedance amplifier design. Uh, for example, photodiodes. Photodiodes generally generate low current and subsequently process. Uh, the subsequently processing takes very uh, uh, happens in uh, voltage domain. Therefore, the TAA must convert this photodiode current into voltage. As seen in the figure, a simple uh, resistor uh, RL can convert the photodiode current into an output voltage. However, this simple uh, resistor TAA results in a uh, severe trade-offs between gain and bandwidth and noise. The, the resistor TAA produces a trans impedance gain roughly equals to RL, which is the value of the resistor. So uh, by this increasing, uh, the RL value enhances the gain and reduces input noise, but reduces the bandwidth at the same time as well. Uh, as a result, using a simple resistor setup always results in trade-off between gain, input noise, and bandwidth. To optimize gain, bandwidth, and the input referred noise, a complex structures are necessary. Uh, the structures allow for better trade-off and maximize design flexibility. So coming to TAA topologies, this paper uh, describes four TAA topologies, which are common base, common emitter with resistive feedback, regulated CAS code, and the last one is a uh, Darlington pair with resistive feedback. Each topology has unique advantages and trade-offs regarding bandwidth, gain, and noise performance. And let's focus an, on each individual uh, topologies from now. Uh, the first topology 
I am going to discuss is common based topology, which is known for its low input impedance and high bandwidth, which has been a staple wi uh, world, uh, wideband uh, uh, optical communication system since 1980s. This uh, architecture offers high voltage gain and output impedance and uh, desirable characteristics in uh, TAA design. Despite, it, despite its advantages, the common based TAAs tend to exhibit higher noise levels due to the direct addition of the transistor noise to the input signal. The figure illustrates a typical common based uh, TAA configuration featuring a uh, transistor biased at the base with uh, voltage V bias and a resistive load RC. After the after analyzing the common base uh, uh, topology, we found that its input impedance is approximately one by GM. The DC uh, trans impedance gain is approximately equal to RC. The bandwidth of this topology is determined by the poles at the input and output. Additionally, the input refer noise current is a combination of thermal and uh, short uh, short noise combinations. Which, which can uh, affect the overall noise performance of the TEA. The next topology is a uh, common emitter topology with a resistive feedback. Uh, this type of shunt feedback uh, TEA topology, uh, which is depicted in the figure shown, is uh, prevalent in fiber optic applications due to its high current and voltage gain, along with uh, sufficient bandwidth as well. However, maintaining stability across temperature variations require sophisticated bias networks and uh, emitter degradation. With the common emitter topology, uh, typically offering high input, in, high input impedance, shunt shunt feedback, uh, it, which is very often employed in TAA design to lower input impedance and reduce the noise in the industry. Uh, additionally, the Miller effect can uh, impede the common emitter state's bandwidth as well. Uh, in the analysis of common emitter uh, TIA, uh, the input impedance is given by RF by 1 by uh, 1 plus S RF seen, which is the feedback resistor plus uh, the, the input capacitance of the uh, block. The DC trans impedance gain is approximately equal to the, uh, the value which is parallel to RC parallel of RF. The bandwidth is uh, determined by the dominant pole uh, in the circuit. Noise contributions come from both the resistor and the transistor as well, which mostly be which which we should be mostly be careful by managing or ensuring optimal performance. The the third topology is uh, regulated uh, cascode topology. Uh, to elevate the stringent trade-offs uh, observed in the common based topology, the regulated ca cascode topology as seen in the figure is commonly employed instead of common based topology. This two-stage shunt, uh, shunt series um, uh, feedback amplifier offers enhanced bandwidth, noise performance and uh, gain flexibility when we compare with the common based topology. Uh, uh, the, the regulated cascode TAA uh, can be conceptualized in two ways. Uh, the first is as a common base transistor with local feedback or as a closed loop current amplifier comprising two uh, common emitter stages encircling encircled by a shunt uh, series resistive feedback. Analyzing this uh, regulated cascode TA, we focused on the input and output impedances to identify crucial poles and zeros that influence the performance in terms of bandwidth. The, the, the DC uh, trans impedance gain is approximately equals to the RC2 value, which is the output uh, resistance. Balancing gain, bandwidth, and input referred noise in this topology requires uh, meticulous adjustments to the resistor uh, in a circuit, ensuring optimal performance across various parameters. And uh, coming to the final topology, uh, the final topology is uh, Darlington pair topology with a resistive feedback. To address the limitations of common emitter topology, a Darlington pair with resistive feedback uh, is presented as an alternative ap approach. This uh, configuration capitalizes on uh, high current gain provided by Darlington pair while uh, mitigating its uh, inherent input impedance 
through a negative feedback, which is RF, the, uh, as a negative uh, feedback resistance. The Darlington pair comprised of uh, two bipolar transistors offering uh, a significant amplified current gain from a low base current, enhancing overall circuit performance. Uh, in a schematic as uh, depicted in this figure, the incoming current signal is initially amplified by the transistor Q1, which uh, with a current gain factor of uh, beta 1. And uh, the resulting uh, emitter current from Q1 is then further amplified by the transistor Q2 with a gain factor of beta 2, effectively combining their uh, gains. The Darlington pair topology uh, resembles a single common emitter uh, TIA, but with a subsequent higher uh, current gain. Uh, the DC trans impedance gain of this uh, topology is a multiplication of um, the DC uh, gain of the uh, Darling, uh, sorry, the, the DC trans impedance gain uh, can be determined by separately calculating the DC gains of uh, the consequent transistor Q1 and Q2 and then multiplying them. Analyzing the Darlington, ter, uh, Darlington pair TIA, we can see the bandwidth is influenced by dominant poles at the input and output stages. And the DC uh, trans impedance gain is approximately equal to the multiplication factor of the gain of Q1 and Q, Q2, which is equal to beta 1 RE and uh, GM and RC parallel RF. Beta 1 RE is the gain of the Q1 and GM into RC parallel RF is the, uh, uh, the gain of uh, Q2. The, the multiplication of multiplication factor of these two gains will give the total gain uh, for this topology. Achieving a balanced uh, between the gain bandwidth and the noise performance requires careful selection of the resistors in this circuit. This topology is versatile and then uh, can be tailored to a specific required uh, design. Uh, coming to the discussion, uh, this discussion slide presents a summarized table that comprises a list of performance parameters of different uh, TA topologies dis uh, discussed before. The dis uh, in designing a uh, preferred TIA for an op op optical uh, communication system, selecting an appropriate uh, uh, topology is very critical to achieve the desired uh, balance between gain, bandwidth, and noise. Uh, for example, the first first topology, which is co common based topology, is characterized by its simple design, which offers relatively high bandwidth due to its low input capacitance. But this makes it suitable just for high speed performance applications. However, on the uh, as a trade off, uh, the common base topology tends to have higher noise contributions from the base resistor and the emitter resistance, which are contributing directly into the noise. Additionally, uh, the gain of this topology is directly dependent on the collector resistance RC. This dependency limits the achievable gain as increasing RC to enhance the gain can compromise the bandwidth and at the same time uh, the uh, voltage swing. Despite these trade-offs, common based topology is valued for its uh, straightforward implementation and high speed capabilities and uh, for a simple design, uh, less complexity as well. The next one is a common emitter with a resistive feedback topology. This uh, improves upon the common base design by introducing a feedback resistor. This addition helps enhancing gain, providing a more reasonable balance between uh, gain and noise. But the feedback resistor also plays a, plays a cru crucial role in uh, stabilizing the gain. Although this stability might come uh, with a, a slight reduction in bandwidth comparing to the common base topology, despite this trade of the the common emitter topology with a resistive feedback is favored for its balanced performance and uh, reasonable complexity. It offers a, val a versatile uh, uh, solution for many applications, making it popular choice in various optical communication systems nowadays. Uh, the next one we discussed was a regulated casco topology, which is renowned for its uh, uh, high gain and bandwidth 
तो इट्स कैसकोड कॉन्फिग्रेशन Uh, that this design offers excellent isolation uh, between the input and output making it a uh, highly suitable for high performance applications actually however the uh, the regulated cascode topology is more complex than the common base and the common emitter with resistive feedback this uh, increased number of active devices in this topology can lead to higher noise and higher power consumption despite these challenges uh the this topology is often uh, chosen for application that uh, demand superior gain and bandwidth performance uh this topology remains a preferred choice in application that prioritizes maximum gain and specific uh, impedance characteristics which that benefits overweigh the challenges associated with its increased complexity and uh, potential noise performance and the uh, final uh, discussion which we had was on uh, the darlington pair with resistive feedback this topology uh, um, is distinguished by its ability to provide its uh, highest gain among the four uh, discussed uh, configurations achieved through cascoding uh, the transistor stages this topology offers advantages advantages characteristics that Uh, such as high input in, input impedance and uh, low output impedance making it particularly benefit for high speed applications where signal integrity is critical in conclusion each taa uh, topology we discussed offers unique advantages and trade offs the selection of optimal topology depends on uh, specific requ requirements of the application and the industry understanding the design considerations and the trade off of each topology is uh, critical for achieving and achieve the, achieving the desired uh, performance in optical communication systems by carefully an, uh, analyzing these uh, factors we can make uh, informed decisions to achieve uh, uh, achieve or enhance system efficiency here are the key uh, key references that we cited in our research uh, thank you so much for your attention I